Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Uh, in here, there's nothing here. So, yeah, don't worry about that. I think that's actually a shortcut between one area to another, so... That probably will come into play later, but obviously not in this video. Hey, wanna go for a ride on a raft for a hundred rupees? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Okay, the raft is ready for you outside. Enjoy. Now, the reason I paid 100 rupees to do this is... Um, you can probably get 100 rupees on this raft anyways. Because, as you see, you'll be riding your raft down a waterway. And right here, you can go down a waterfall. And you're on a raft ride course where you can get rupees and other power-ups. So, yeah, let's go for the rupees, because we spent a lot of rupees just to play this game, and that was a bad mistake going that way. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a... well, I haven't played the raft portion of this game in a very long time, so I will probably miss a lot of rupees on this run. But you can kind of get an idea of where all the rupees are, and whenever you do this, if you ever decide to do this, you can get the rupees yourself. see rupees I think I had about 192 or something and I think I have to be on the other side to get those uh, come on get that no and I think this is the end of the run right here so yeah we're done with this run I didn't really get that many rupees but I'm sure I'll find more in like dungeons and hidden passageways so it won't be that big of a deal. Oh, that actually takes you back to where the uh, raft place is. So that's where this uh, room actually has to do. So, yeah. Let's go back outside, though, because we can uh, go around here for a little while. And this is actually where the sixth dungeon is located. Not, like, right here or anything, but it's the general area where the dungeon's uh, located. Let's get some bombs and see what's in here. There might actually be a seashell in here. No, it's a great fairy. Oh well. Yes, I need I need that one heart I need healed. That was totally worth it. Okay, so I think the owl appears right here, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Hoot, there are two shrines. One to the north, the other to the south. First, head south, where ancient ruins speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. So yes, we're going to go to the south ruins, or the south shrine first. I don't know if it's required or anything, but wait, that looks suspicious over here. They don't just have a giant wall with nothing here. Wait, let me... Okay, maybe not. I thought maybe there was like a secret wall there, but apparently not. Oh well, no big deal. Okay, we're gonna need the stupid... No, let's get the boomerang. So, a few things I'm gonna talk about in this episode, very quickly. Uh, yesterday, I posted a video about Ask Slim Kirby. A series where you can ask me a series of questions, and I will answer them. So, very interesting series. Definitely, if you have some questions for me about how I do Let's Plays, or just, like, general questions that you might want to learn about me, feel free to ask. Uh, the video will be in the description, and you can also find it by just clicking my main channel page. It should be the video that's displayed on the page, so... Easy access. Feel free to check it out. And feel free to answer some questions as well. Looking forward to all the questions I will be getting for that. Kind of. Also, um, I actually have a bit of a request, or not really a request, more of like a task that some of you guys can help me with. Uh, as you know, I've been using a lot of like Zelda Sm Smash Bros. music for uh, these videos, uh, for my video intros. However, I'm coming to the end of my Zelda music list, 
so like, eventually I'll get to the point where there aren't any more Zelda songs in the Smash Brothers playlist that I can use for my intros. So, um, I actually need help with uh, finding some websites where I can get some video game MP3s. Um, I was using Galbadia Hotel for some of them, but Galbadia has like a lot of site problems. And it's gotten to the point where I can't even download from that place anymore, so... Yeah, Galbadia is kind of out of the question, so do not suggest that place. But if you have any other ideas or some other places I can check out, uh, feel free to give me a link on the comments section or just tell me wh what the site is. I would be very appreciative. And also, don't do that like... I forgot the name of the site. It's like KH Insider or whatever. Don't suggest that e either because like I can't download anything from that place. I don't know why. So a lot of people always send me to that site, but I can't do anything with that site. Okay, so this is the Southern Shrine. It's not really a dungeon, it's really just like three rooms. And one of the rooms, you have to fight a boss. This is the Armo statue. And can I kill with the boomerang? No, I can't, so you actually need to use arrows for this. I don't mind, arrows aren't that hard to use. And I should probably get my Rock's Feather out, too. It takes a few arrow shots, but not too many. And there, we've already killed him, so he wasn't that hard of a boss. I should have equaled Brock's Feather from the beginning, though. And when we do that, we get the Face Key. The Face Key is what we need to enter the 6th dungeon. So this place was actually required. It's not where the instrument is, though, by far. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. Light these candles, and let's look up here. To the Finder, the Isle of Koholint is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky. A scene on that lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Koholint will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away... You should know the truth. What? Illusion? Hmm, very interesting. So, what that picture teaches you is that Koholint Island is actually just a dream. And it's the Windfish's dream. And in order to leave this island, we have to wake the Windfish. And the Owl is apparently... I wouldn't say he's really a friend of the Windfish, but he's also kind of a little guardian of the Windfish as well. And he kind of just, like, reaches out to uh, castaways and tells them how to wake the windfish. Something like that. I probably got the story all wrong, but what I really need to know is this game has no relevance to the actual Zelda timeline. It's just something that happened. It's just a dream. The whole world is a dream. That's really all you learn from this game. And let's get back out of here. So we can go to the Face Shrine. Not really looking forward to the Face Shrine. Uh, this is where the dungeons will start to get very annoying. You notice that um, there were a lot of annoyances in the Catfish's Maw already. This dungeon gets even more annoying with traps and tricks. And getting to different rooms. Kind of a pain. Maybe not as much as Catfish's Maw though. I've never been that down on this next dungeon. It's not that bad, it just takes a lot of work to get through it. At least the boss is really easy for this next dungeon. The next boss has the next boss has pushover written all over it. Maybe even more than the actual uh, anglerfish. Because the anglerfish takes off a lot of health if you actually hit him. Uh, this guy, like, he almost never hits you. That w that's what makes this next boss a very big pushover. So let's go back over here. And the northern shrine is actually, I believe, up here. Yep. But to get there, we have to find a staircase that will take us there. And what is that thing? A mushroom flying bomb guy? Uh, the staircase is right here. 
Ah, we got some sharks. Or fish that look like sharks. Okay, we need the hook shot. And up here, we're actually at the face shrine. So, let's put the key in the hole. And next video, we're actually going to go inside the face shrine. Not a very hard dungeon, but there are some annoyances, so get ready for about maybe two videos of me doing this dungeon. So this is Slim Kirby. See you guys next time for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Later, folks.